Okay, now we've got this thing stopped. It's time to take off the nut. The 17 millimeter socket. We're going to go the opposite way. There we go. Like that. And unscrew it. Okay. And this whole assembly pulls off. And underneath it is your rim sprocket. This is the old one, the bad one. Sometimes it's a little harder to pull off that. But make sure you're going this way to pull it off and that way to put it back on. Uh, this one's wasted. So the new ones look like this. This should be nice and clean. And this is a 7 7 cog uh, 3 8 drive. It's kind of the medium size that Oregon makes. It's a seven, it has 7 splines with the 7 uh, cogs. They make one that um, has eight, eight, co um, 8 cogs on it. Not not this not the interior not the spline but eight cogs, and it's it runs a, supposedly runs a little the chain a little faster. If you're cutting small stuff, I guess it would be faster to cut it. But the seven's good for uh, from what I've read, good with uh, for more torque. So seven's what most I, I think a lot of people run. We're seeing in Oregon, um, we got pretty big trees that that we're cutting, so they be they're pretty thick to cut. Um, and I know other other areas have have large trees as well, but um, anyways, this is uh, this is the the one, and it fits on here like this, like that. And it slides back and forth on on there so that there's room you know so that it um it lines up with the uh your uh, bar better so now you just stick it on make sure it doesn't fall off like i think it just did if it falls off like that then it won't go on let me put that back on there Okay, now it's back on the splines, and you just set it on there like that. Now it's on there. You can take your nut, and it's backwards, of course. So it feels really weird. And just put a little, make sure, sometimes the rope can come undone. You don't need a lot of torque on it, but the, it can, since it's going backwards, it can pull the starter rope out of the, out of your uh, puller, you know, your, uh, your pull start, because you're going the other way. So you, you don't need that much torque where you rip that out. Just kind of hold it with your foot. And I'm using a 17 millimeter socket as usual. Just tighten it up and you get a little flex in there from the other part, from the, the rope and everything. Don't tighten it to, so tight that you break the, sometimes these, um, if you tighten it too tight that way or if you're taking it off the wrong way, this piece here will break in half because it's tapered and then you don't, and it it'll smash your needle bearing um, too. So anyways, the clutch spins. That's good. There's not a lot of play. Well, I guess there is a little. But as long as it doesn't catch, you know, it spins free. That's just rubbing on this other thing. That's uh, um, that sound. It's just rubbing on the new uh, the new cog that I just put on. So, um, 
it won't rub on there when they got the chain on and everything. So now you can just uh, put the spark plug back in, pull this, pull the rope out first, obviously. Pull, put the spark plug back in the engine. There it is. Make sure you don't screw that up. So you're pretty well done if the Healy coil it or something. A disaster. I haven't had that happen yet. Never. But it can always happen. Just a little bit on on these are needed. There you are. Then put your wire back on. There it is. You got a new cog on there and it's ready to run. I don't know if I have any fuel in this thing or not to start it. But Just remember the right hand, left handed threads on these things. Let's see if I can start it. Should be fine. That's how you stop it. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Enjoy.